Did you know that you are related to a mammoth, a starfish, and even bacteria? You are linked with every other organism on Earth, and those links run billions of years into the geological past. Every species on this wonderful world is interconnected. You can pick any two species on the planet and find that they have a common ancestor. That ancestor may have lived millions or billions of years in the past, and the species we see today have spent all that time developing and diversifying. This is known as divergent evolution. I'm Louisa, and today I'm going to talk to you about this fascinating process. Divergent evolution starts with two closely related populations belonging to the same species. Those populations might find themselves isolated from each other by a geographical barrier, such as a wide river or a mountain range that is built over geological time. Alternatively, the populations might simply migrate in different directions and settle in separate areas. These are both examples of allopatric speciation. The original populations have very specialised diets or find themselves unable to interbreed. In cases like this, the populations can be reproductively isolated even when they live in the same area. We call this sympatric speciation. This type of speciation mainly occurs in plants which have specialised reproductive structures. It is rarely observed in animals but there are a few documented cases such as migratory and resident orca populations refusing to mate with each other. The key point is, if two populations become reproductively isolated and occupy different ecological niches, they can accumulate new traits over time and become more and more different from each other. Given enough time, the differences between populations can be so big that they become entirely new species. This is divergent evolution two new species from one common ancestor. For example, the genus Hebe contains about 90 species that all diverged from each other within the last few million years. And those orca populations we mentioned before? In the future, they might evolve into two separate species of killer whales, one species that migrates every year and one that doesn't. Scientists have observed evidence for divergent evolution for hundreds of years, even before Charles Darwin's time. They examined the bones of various animals and saw very distinctive patterns in how those bones are arranged. For instance, your arm contains the same bones as the arm of a lizard, the flipper of a whale or the wing of a bat. The differences we see in these limbs are due to reshaping and resizing of those bones and reflect the function of each limb. But every limb contains the same number of bones and in the same broad arrangement. Early scientists claimed that this was God's design. But since Darwin, it has been recognised as evidence for divergent evolution. Arms, flippers and wings are examples of homologous structures. They are structural features of two organisms that indicate a common ancestry. In other words, these limbs have the same arrangement of bones because they all developed from an ancestral limb that had the same arrangement. There are plenty of other examples of homologous structures. We see them throughout the fossil record and in modern day organisms. The spines of a cactus and jaws of a Venus flytrap both developed from leaves on an ancestral plant that lived in the distant past. The mighty tusks of an elephant and the nipping teeth of a bunny rabbit are also very different in form and function. These two are homologous structures that developed from incisor teeth of an ancestral mammal. In fact, the fossil record shows a clear progression of species that could be ancestors of today's elephants and rabbits. The further back in time you look, the closer these lineages come, which allows us to guess at what the common ancestor between elephants and rabbits looked like. As a final example, have you heard about all the exciting dinosaur finds coming out of China? In the last two decades, there has been a surge of discoveries of feathered dinosaurs and prehistoric birds that lived alongside them. Scientists are confident that these groups are closely related, and they have a common ancestor within an earlier group of dinosaurs. Let's have a quick summary. Divergent evolution occurs when an ancestral species develops or diverges into two new species. This divergence may be caused by a geographical barrier or some other factor that limits reproduction between populations. Common ancestry is shown by homologous structures shared by two species or groups. The classic example of this is the arrangement of bones in the human arm, which matches the arrangement of a bat's wing and a whale's flipper. I hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing aspect of evolution. Scientists are still uncovering new species and the genetic relationships between them, so be sure to keep an eye on the news. Thank you very much for watching.